Good morning guys, hope you're doing okay. It's currently seven o'clock in the morning. Been up for about 15 minutes with both the kids. Um, and I thought we would do a little bit of a day in the life. Um, started filming at like what, four in the morning, whatever time it was, um, when Hallie had her first feed. Um, she actually had a dream feed as well before that, but it was like before midnight, so I haven't started it um, in this day of the life. So she, she got up twice um, last night, which is not bad at all. Um, and then, yeah, she's just having a feed now, and we're going to get up for the day, but I have to just say, guys, we've upgraded our bed, and also our mattress, and it is humongous. It is humongous. It's ridiculous. It's a super king size, and it's the best decision I have ever made. Like, I cannot tell you how lovely that sleep was last night the mattress is amazing and so is the fact that it's so big oh i think i had the best night's sleep i've had since hallie was born which is you know it was very needed let me tell you the bed is amazing i could fit like horizontally if i wanted to <laughs> george did start in his bed um and then he came into my bed about two in the morning he must have had like a little dream or needed to go to the toilet or something um so yeah, he came into my bed and then we were all in here, weren't we? Um, so yeah, as I'm filming this, my other half is still working away. So it's actually my last week of doing solo parenting, which is, um, I'm very excited for it to come to an end, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, as you can tell, we've whipped out the iPad to help us um, just with this morning's feed. And then we'll go downstairs and have breakfast and start the day properly but yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of the video of a day in the life of a mum of a newborn and a toddler and this was... breakfast yeah. what do you want for breakfast um, yes. are you sure because last time i gave you that you didn't eat it found something here 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 sleeping baby we're gonna make some oat banana pancakes bananas oats egg baking paper baking paper baking powder <laughs> and i'm also gonna check in some of this boobix hot chocolate this is supposedly really good for increasing your milk supply which i'm all here for I'm actually running out i literally have like nothing left i've actually ate all of the cookies all my lactation cookies and that's the last of my hot chocolate so i'm gonna have to get some more because I have to say it's like part of my daily routine to like, yeah, to have something from Boobix. I absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pop these in here, mash up the bananas, chuck in the um, rest of the ingredients, and then I'm going to make those pancakes. Then we're going to 
tidy up. Yeah, you can help eat it. Can you open the bin for me? Yeah. Oh, the bin is very full, isn't it? Don't go outside with my shoes on, George. Hello, darling. Bob. Bob's. Bob's. Yeah, you can't bring this inside, remember? Oh, Bob. Are you going with those? Done. You put holes in it, haven't you? You look lovely. Mm. Right, come here. Need to put your jumper on. Then we're done. Jumper on. Yeah, jumper. Hallie was so unsettled um, and George was not playing ball at all like he didn't want to get ready and then like eventually got him ready after a long fight but then Hallie was really unsettled after that so I had to feed her the feed went really badly so I had to top her up with a bottle um, which is absolutely fine but now, but now she's so unsettled again hey, it's okay but yeah now she's really over tired so um, yeah, not having much luck with the whole getting out of the house thing. So the best thing to do would be to get out of the house in the car and get her asleep. But George has just fallen asleep on the sofa. <laughs> because he had a fairly late night last night, so he's obviously tired. So yeah, it's just one of those. I think it's going to be a case of letting George sleep, trying to get Hallie to sleep, and um, putting her down in her next to me cot, and then maybe trying to get out this afternoon. Um, yeah, I like to go to this playgroup thing for George mainly, um, and for me to like get out and you know get out of the house and stuff. But um, like I said, George is falling asleep. Hallie was just like crazy unsettled, um, and now she's just falling asleep. Bless her. I'm gonna not stop rocking her until <laughs> until she's definitely asleep. But I have to say, sleep wise, we've been getting on so much better recently like i feel like we've hit a point where we're kind of in a little bit of a routine george has definitely adapted a little bit more so to hallie being around during the evening routine um my actual sleep at night when i'm getting it like when hallie's not feeding or george isn't getting up in the night is amazing because we've got this new mattress like i said this morning this is a new emma mattress but even bigger and they're actually kindly sponsoring this part of the video and i'm so so pleased because we've had an emma mattress since like february last year um so we've like 18 months in of like fully testing emma mattresses and they're bloody brilliant like they're so good this is like an upgraded version of the one that i had before so this is like a premium one and i'm oh god like i have to say now that i'm a mum of two and i am trying to get shut eye whenever i can like the quality of my sleep needs to be good like it just has to be because otherwise i'm not going to be able to function the next day um and like you know sort out the kids and <laughs> function like a human being so yeah the fact that i've got a really good mattress honestly sitting on it now oh i just want to do like all of the feeds in here i just want to sit in here and like i feel like i need to get a tv in my room now just so that i can lay on this bed for like more often because it's so incredibly comfortable but yeah since hallie was born i was basically saying to everyone that i needed to upgrade my double bed to a king size and then i mentioned it on a youtube video and everyone was saying that i need to upgrade it to a super king so i was gonna get a super king size bed anyway and then emma reached out and said do you want to collaborate on a video and i was like yes because i'm getting a new bed anyway and i'm not going back to a not emma mattress because when i tell you when we upgraded from like a standard mattress to an emma mattress the difference it made to my life even if it's something you're not sure about like investing that much money into a mattress you get 200 nights risk-free where you can trial it basically and you get like a 10-year guarantee so i feel like 
you're investing into something that's definitely worthwhile and what is more worthwhile than your sleep like there is just nothing um especially once you've become a mum i'm pretty sure that emma have like a huge sale on at the moment so their discounts are like up to 55 percent and they've also given me an extra discount that you can get on top of that discount already so i'll pop up on the screen what it works out to if you were to get like a emma mattress with the 55 percent off plus my discount code what it ends up at it's a huge saving basically if you need an excuse this is your excuse to get any mattress and i promise you you won't regret it <laughs> like it's just heaven it's heaven after a long day of mum life so yeah she's asleep now which is amazing so i'm gonna quickly pop her down if she's gonna let me finish making the bed up and then yeah just pumped in a little bit and not for too long in for like 20 minutes um and now i've decided because hallie's up george has just woken up we're gonna go to soft play because it's like sunny but the clouds are gray <laughs> so i feel like it's gonna rain so i'm knocking the park on the head like we're not even gonna attempt that so we can hopefully all just let off some steam at soft play i might even just get some food there actually rather than having to do lunch here because then that's just like quite easy i have been trying to go to do the tesco kids eat free like during the summer holidays stuff um but george is just not very like he just doesn't sit still in like a cafe environment like he's always just on the go wanting to go down the lift wanting to go downstairs not really interested in the food whereas when we're at soft play he can like eat something he can go away he can come back like i know it's not ideal but it keeps him happy and yeah when there's just me versus two of them anything to keep him sweet is yeah it's just a winner so i think that's what we're gonna go do <coughs> just spent three hours at soft play it's two o'clock no it's three o'clock oh my goodness um and we are going to Lidl to get the weekly food shop um because i need to get top ups ice cream. and george deserves an ice cream because he was such a good boy when i asked you to do soft play he got his shoes on and he gave me his jumper and we left because hallie was tired um and just needed to get in the car seat and like get in the car and yeah that's where we're that's what we're doing hopefully getting pushed around um Lidl will help chill Hallie out George is gonna get a little trolley for Lidl and yeah we're gonna get the weekly food shop so it'll probably be about an hour later when you next see me um and I think then we're gonna be doing dinner time hopefully bath time bedtime bit of play time yeah I feel like we've had a little successful day haven't we George have you had fun today no we're in the right I know we're gonna go 
to Lidl and get ice cream. Me too. Two ice creams? Whoa, well maybe, because you were such a good boy. Two ice creams. Whoa, okay, right. Anyway, I'm gonna go do the food shop and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Bye. Play notes. Go. Play notes. Look for the guy. Right, drive your bike quickly, quickly. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's like an hour after we got back from the food shop. It's just been non-stop. Like I tried to put the food away. Hallie woke up. She was crying. George wanted my attention. He wanted to show me something out in the garden, um, like all the time. And I was just like. All the food is literally melting. I've got so many frozen bits as well. So I've just popped George outside um, with a lollipop, like an ice pop thing. Eating that, loving life. I've put the rest of the shopping away. Hallie is finally settled. Um, she's finally like taking a little bit to the W, which is a massive lifesaver for me because um, if it's not the, like me rocking her or shushing her or breastfeeding her, it's yeah you know i need help so a dummy it is um so she's taken to that so she's happy i just wanted to show you this thing really quickly because i thought it was really cool so when i supplement hallie with formula i use this brand um and my granddad found this it's an old cow and gay formula like tin from i don't even know when it would be from i wonder if any of you guys know but i just thought it was really cool and it actually looks quite cool and i'll definitely have it up in like the kitchen at some point but apparently it's the formula of real babies back in the day but my god look how much the branding has changed i just thought that was actually really cool so we're gonna have that on display in our kitchen at some point oh gosh right it's now about quarter past seven george just fell asleep on the sofa actually perfect time when we did dinner time and everything and um, he had about half his dinner and then um, went and sat on the sofa and then um, was building blocks and stuff and then he sat on the sofa and fell asleep so I'm gonna leave him to sleep do bath time with Hallie and then bring him upstairs if he's still asleep and hopefully he'll stay asleep and at least until like probably two in the morning when he comes into my bed again Finally there guys, they are both asleep, we'll just carry George upstairs and Hallie has just, she's getting herself to sleep, oh my god the dog's barking, please stop, <laughs> um, so yeah, they are both asleep, almost, Hallie's like basically there, as long as nothing startles her, and I don't stop shaking my arm, um, <laughs> and once she's asleep I'm gonna quickly pop her in her little bassinet thing at the end of the um bed and then i'm gonna have a shower i'll bring her in with me have a shower and um i'm also gonna call it a night i think this was actually a little bit trickier to film than i thought like a day in the life obviously with two kids it's just so constant but there's so much that i didn't get to film but i hope you got a little snippet of what an average day is like uh with a newborn and a toddler um like for me and for them so yeah like i said a bit chaotic at times but yeah, it's been a good day actually, all in all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab my shower and then I'm going straight to bed on my absolute mattress of dreams. Like I can't even... <laughs> I'm just literally so up before I could fall asleep right now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, for now I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm going to see you in the next one. Because you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.